This is the card we're making today. We're using Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. It's a new release in the catalogue. Uh, what's today? Tuesday? No. Monday? Monday. So the catalogue goes live tomorrow. Oh, I'm having a really bad time of it. The catalogue goes live tomorrow. So you'll be able to buy this paper as of tomorrow. Woohoo! Okay. We're also using the Floral Essence um, stamp set that goes with the papers. And that comes bundled with this punch. So you can save 10% if you purchase these together and part of the suite is the paper pack and the paper pack is absolutely gorgeous it's all watercolors or, or no it's actually oil paintings I think and absolutely stunning it looks like an old master painted it okay so the paper I'm using is petal, uh, petal pink and Blackberry Bliss, which are two of the colours in the DSP pack. Now, one thing I did notice with this year's catalogue, there aren't companion cardstock packs for each lot of DSP, which is a shame because I used to be able to, I used to like being able to buy it all together, but they've stopped doing that. Okay, so this card is really simple to make. As you can see, I've decorated it inside and I think it looks beautiful. But then again, I'm biased, I made it. Okay, we'll also be using some of the Artisan Pearls from Share What You Love. I believe these are still available in the catalogue, the new catalogue. Now, I've already done a little bit of the stamping because... I needed the butterfly for this. Um, I lent my mum my butterfly stamp set. Hi mum! And um, forgot to get it back off before I made this card. So even though I have the punch that goes with the butterfly set, I don't have the stamps here. So what I did was use the floral essence and stamped all over the cardstock and then punched it out with the punch and I'm lining them up or layering them up like that so that we've got the two different colours, the two colours as opposed to the neutral. Now you will also need uh, a spare piece of, car a scrap piece of cardstock in the Whisper White, only the layering weight, that's fine because it's just for the tag. Now I'm also using some of this beautiful new petal pink organdy striped ribbon it's absolutely beautiful as all of the ribbons are from Stampin' Up so yeah there we go we've got the striped ribbon as well okay all the measurements can be found on my blog as per normal you'll also need a scrap of the blackberry bliss okay now let's get on with it as I said I've already stamped that bit so um, we'll move that aside for the moment. Now I'm, I've mounted up my blocks, uh, my stamps on my blocks. So now what I have to do is bring in a scrap, pop that down there, and I need to bring in my two stamp uh, inks, which is the petal pink and the blackberry bliss. Now what I'm going to do is stamp off and then stamp on so that we get second generation so I don't need that one now that can go aside and then the same with the Blackberry Bliss which is the smaller stamp so stamp off oh no okay we'll do that again because I've just realized I double stamp I stamped off twice to get a really faint there we go that's better and that's still quite dark so we'll bring the petal pink back in so yeah make this triple uh, three third generation stamp or fourth if that's the way you like it okay so stamp off and then stamp on okay I've got to bring the blackberry bliss back in so that we can 
This is so stiff I haven't. This is the first time I've used Blackberry Bliss in about three years. I haven't used it since it was discontinued. Okay, and then we just bring this in and stamp it full strength like that. Pop that aside for a moment. We will need it again shortly. And I'm just going to bring in my trimmer. Oh, I'm knocking everything sideways here. Now, this needs to be just less than two inches so that it can go into our scalloped tag topper punch. So I'm just going to bring that over. And I'm taking it down to one and seven eighths. Leave that much at the top, and I'm just going to trim a little bit off the top there. And I'm leaving probably, oh, let's see how how much. So that one finishes probably about an, oh one and an eighth of an inch on top or one and one and one eighth inches above the top of the stamping. I'm going to line that up so that it's in the center and give it a punch. And what I might <clears throat> what I might do is just trim a little bit more off the bottom there. There's no ex Okay, my battery failed. <laughs> I'm back again. Yeah, as I was saying, there's no exact measurements for this part of the tag. Now I'm going to bring my scissors in and just give the top of this a little bit of a rounding, like so. Just to round it out a bit. Okay, and we've got our other spare piece of Blackberry Bliss. So I'll pop that in, like so, give it a tap at the top. Okay, I'll just get this out of the way. And then we're going to line this up a little, like take it down a little bit. I'm just going to trim a bit more off the top of this. There we go. Now, on the top here, we're going to put a bit of snail and then on the okay, bottom okay, have dimensionals will travel is that how it goes? so one there and one there now we've got to line this up with that so that we've got a fairly even border on both sides as well as the top so there we go and then what I'm going to do is just, with my scissors, just trim a border along the bottom there. And that's how easy the tag is to do. Now, while I'm doing the tag, I'm going to bring in the butterflies and just give this a fold over the body and the same with this one. Bring in my bone folder and just give this a bit of a curl, like so. So it looks like it's taking flight. Now in with our glue dots and just put a couple of glue dots behind the body of this butterfly and fix that on there. Okay, now this is where the Share What You Love um, Artisan Pearls come in. I'm going to use what I think might be the Petal Pink. I could be wrong. I probably am. Whoops. And it doesn't want to come off. So there's one. Two. So I'll pop that aside going to give that one a bit of a fluffing up again. Flip this fella upside down and I'm going to put two glue dots on the back towards the head of this butterfly 
because it's just going to go down the bottom there. And that is our tag made for the card. Now the rest of the card goes together really, really easily. Okay, so we're going to put some tape runner on the back of this piece and just mount it onto the Blackberry Bliss with an even border. And then the same with the Blackberry Bliss onto the stamped petal pink. And the stamped image is the this one here, which is the sketch print that I used in my bullet journal. Um, this one, I used Blackberry Bliss. On this card, it's a bit fainter. I used petal pink, so it was tone on tone, but I didn't like that. I wanted it to stand out a bit more and give a bit more oomph. Now, this piece, we're going to bring the dimensionals in again. Uh, before I do that, I better get my uh, ribbon on. So the ribbon's going to go across the top there. So we need some snail at both sides. And I'm coming down about an inch on the card. And then we'll wrap that around and stick it over that side. There we go. Now with this piece, I'm just going to do a faux knot in the middle. Like so, and then just snip at an angle to give a nice look to the bow or to the knot. And then we're going to flip it over and I'm going to actually stick dimensionals onto the ribbon on the back just for some extra support. And I'm just going to stick another two up the top there. Take the backing off. Okay, so that's now layered nicely. We're going to bring our tag in, pop a couple of dimensionals at the bottom again, like that, and a little bit of snail up the top. And it doesn't matter if the snail goes over the gap there because that's going to be hidden under our faux knot. So I'm going to line that up as straight as possible there. And I forgot to take the backings off, didn't I? <laughs> okay, take it up a little bit. Make sure it's fairly even and give that a press down. Now I'm going to bring in my glue dots again and just take a couple of glue dots which I'm now running out of. And I'm just going to pop those underneath the knot and press the knot onto the tag. So there's the front of the card done. Now we'll go inside. I'm going to bring in the petal pink and my scrap again and stamp one there and one there. You can see I haven't used these for a while. You would have thought with the cold, lousy weather that we have here in Mornington at the moment that these would have loosened up a bit because they would have shrunk in the cold. But no, no, they're still nice and solid and stiff. Okay, so we've got our flowers done and now I'm going to bring the sentiment in because on the front it says all days are beautiful that begin with you. The inside says with friendly thoughts and best wishes today and every day. So we're just going to line that up. And there we go. That is our card complete. Now I will do a bit of editing so that this is a bit shorter than me faffing around looking for things. But there you go. That's the one we started with. And this is the finished product of the one that uh, I've made in front of you today. I actually like the one with the Blackberry Bliss. I think it looks a bit more dramatic having that there. But 
I think what I would do is take a half an inch off the length of that. So I'll measure that tag, add the half an inch or whatever it is that gets chopped off at the top and I will put that as the size that you can use to replicate the card. I hope you like today's card and you'll join me again possibly Thursday for the next one. Okay that's all from me for now. Bye bye.